you heard the testimony so far, would you please tell the court in your own words what happened on the afternoon of September 10th? What do you mean in my own words? <laughs> Whose words are they gonna be? You know what I mean. I was very upset that day. And why was that? Would you let me say, I'm, let me talk. All right, all right, go ahead, go ahead. All right. Okay. <laughs> I was very upset that day because I could never become a banker. And this failure to become a banker was eating at you, eating, eating, eating at you inside. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was your family that pushed you into banking. It was their dream for you. Mr. Newman. Your Honor, I'm only trying to establish Mr. Kramer's fragile emotional state. My entire case depends on it. Uh, continue. <clears throat> As you were saying, Mr. Kramer. What was the question? You're telling how your parents pushed you in the bank. Uh, well, my father, uh, when I was a kid, uh, he took me to the bank and he lifted me up and he pointed to the teller and he said, Sonny boy, take a good look at him. That's going to be you someday. But you never became a banker, did you, Mr. Kramer? Why? Why did you fail? I don't know. It was because you hated your father and you would do anything to displease him. Isn't that true? Uh, could you get to the speed? Uh, yes, I intend to, Your Honor. And then, on the afternoon of September 10th, you received a phone call, did you not? Phone call? Yes, a phone call. From who? From me. From you? Yes, from me! From me, I called you, remember? You called me? Yes, I called you, you idiot! Because you were going to... You were going to... What? Remember? You were going to... You were going to... You were going to do something! You're going to do something to yourself? You are going to do something to yourself? Remember the banking? The banking wasn't working out the banking! I'm afraid I'm going to have to call an agent. Yes, the banker! What a banker! You're a banker! That's enough, Mr. Kramer. Your Honor, Mr. Kramer is obviously very distraught. I'm distraught. Shut up! <laughs> I demand a recess so that I can take him outside and help him regain his composure. That'll be seventy-five dollars. What's the matter with you, sir? We had it all worked out. <laughs>